Need to improve your club on Ultimate Team? Check out IGDM for safe and reliable coins with the link in the description. Get an extra 5% discount with code NA. What's good y'all? In this video I'm going to show you guys the 4231, which is probably the most meta formation in the game if we're not including the 4321. I'm going to go over um, the instructions, the tactics, and exactly how you're going to want to play it, things that you want to know as you're playing it. And it's worth keeping in mind that this formation is just a really, really good, well-rounded formation. There's nothing that this formation is not good at. It's good at counterattacking, build-up, defending, really everything. There's no weakness to this formation, and it's, really, it's a really versatile formation, so keep that in mind. This is definitely a formation I would recommend to start your games and to even finish your games, really. You can go a whole week in league playing this formation without having to change it at all, honestly. In my opinion, this is probably the best formation in the game, just because of the fact that it can work for absolutely anybody. But yeah. Going straight into the instructions, you can see that this is my team right here. I have it set to my defensive with defensive style balanced, 38 width and 65 depth. I'm using a pretty narrow width because there's way less players using 5 at the back or 3 at the back formations with fullbacks or wingers bombing the wings. So when you're playing against people with uh, 4 at the back defenders or things like that, especially when you're playing teams that use 3 4, the, or sorry, the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, 4 3 2 1 where the wings are much more narrow 38 width is going to be perfect because it closes down as much space in the middle for through runs this is perfect because it forces the other team to constantly have to switch the ball in order to find openings and you want to do that to make sure it takes them as long as possible for them to find a spot to pass to in build up or into through your defensive line for through balls and generally the narrow it is the less space there is the less pockets there is of space in your defensive line and then with depth, we're going to have 65. 65 is honestly, in my opinion, the current meta right now after 71. 71 is still good. However, 65 can be pretty good if you're less skilled at the game. You can't really keep up with the automatic press and offside trap. 65 is basically just a default amount, honestly. You don't really see any difference when you go um, any higher until you get to 71. So 65 is your best bet. But like I say in other videos too, you can use 71 depth if you want to take on the risk. However, ever since the most recent patches, 75 can or sorry 71 can be a bit of an issue if you're dealing with players that play through balls and things like that so 65 is probably your best shot especially if you have a defense that has high pace to keep those runs as suppressed as they can but yeah 65 is basically what you want and then build up play balance chance creation direct passing uh honestly it's a shame that i don't change it primarily because balance and direct passing is the only combination that i see to be objectively the best combination in the game when it comes to build up play and chance creation i've seen no better improvement doing anything else really and as far as i as far as i can tell changing it up really just makes your gameplay less versatile and less um situational really really just preventing the amount of unique opportunities you can create in the attack because direct passing is really it's way more vague if anything it allows for different types of gameplay really if you go something like long balls or whatever you're not going to get that same amount of thing you're just going to get you know gameplay where you're doing the same thing over and over again i feel like that's just more predictable honestly direct passing and balance creates a lot of opportunities for through runs counter attacks and also slow build up fast build up without obviously having to change build up play at all and then with 48 you can go a little bit more narrow but the reason why i choose 48 is primarily because the wingers in this formation which are the cams are already very narrow and you're going to want presence out wide especially in the build up because you want to be able to have an attacking lane to attack obviously through the other team's fullbacks because you know obviously you're going to want wingers of some form so we bump it up to 48 which is technically still pretty wide because most players use a width between like 30 to 40 so 48 is pretty wide for this formation but that is the one i would recommend for formation like this that way you still get the presence of wingers while still having them tuck in to become the cams that they are in the final build up or in the final third six players in the box which kind of doesn't really matter primarily because you're only going to really see five most of the time. However, I set it to six just in case I have a fullback attack for me. Whether I trigger a run of that fullback or if I just drag the fullback with my left stick into a tag. He basically, that fullback will stay in the attack for the remainder of the attack. So six basically just, like I say in other videos, I use this as an attacking limit. That way I have an extra option in the attack when I choose to have one. Corners and free kicks, your choice. Before I show you guys the instructions, I just wanted to quickly mention the fact that as you can see on the screen right now, my rate of subscribers is pretty interesting. So if you guys like my content in terms of, you know, my gameplay or these formation videos that I do make, I do strive to make formation videos that are actually meta instead of just making unique formations over and over again that are just something new rather than not good. I do notice that other content creators try to just make as many weird formations as they can without really testing them, honestly. 
testing if they're actually meta. Me personally, I try to make formations that are actually good for everybody. I may, I test out these formations with gameplay in Weekend League. So if you guys like these formations that I make and want to stay up to date, go ahead and subscribe. Additionally, I'm building a Discord community, which you can find in the link in the description where you can find FIFA discussion related to tactics, daily content, squad building, you know, all that stuff. And you can join today with the link in the description. And then going straight into the instructions, we're going to start with striker. Support runs, stay central, and then everything else. Get in behind and stay forward. This is basically like all you're going to really do with strikers in FIFA nowadays, honestly. You're just going to want them all stay central, get in behind, stay forward. This is basically crucial because it's a direct counter to high lines and high depth, which is literally everyone's formation nowadays. Everyone's running 50 plus depth. So you're going to need to force yourself to get space in the build with a striker that's on stay central, get in behind, and stay forward. Because it constantly forces other teams' defensive lines to constantly move and worry about that striker and open up spaces if it spaces in the attack so this is perfect and it's also very useful in the counter attack and then your cam you're gonna want only on stay forward normally when i have a cam i like having them completely on default however this cam is going to be primarily a number 10 you only want him to show up in the attack you want him to be ready for the counter attacks and you just want him to be open in general so stay forward is all you really need on this guy two wingers or two wide cams completely default primarily because like i say in other attacking videos or other tactic videos that i make the cam the or the lamb or the ram or whatever they're honestly called these formations are really really good because the ai that comes with these specific position is really really useful because it allows them to freedom have freedom in the attack constantly run into space that's being opened up and have just generally like a lot of attacking movement and attacking ai they're really sophisticated positions they're not shallow they're not vague so having them complete on default make sure that, it, that they're not suppressed by any instructions it allows them to be fully creative and it'll, it'll mean that in your attack you'll notice that they're constantly going to new positions they might completely even switch wings at times it makes them really unpredictable and gives them a lot of chances to be unique so keep that in mind your double pivot i'm changing it up a little bit so one guy is going to be on cut passing lanes stay back while attacking cover center and then the other guy's going to be on balance defense balance attack cover center it's crucial to remember obviously both of them on cover center because you don't need these guys going out wide that's just going to open up spaces in midfield you don't want that you're going to want the one that you think is a more defensive oriented player but has really good passing stats to be on cut passing lanes and stay back while attacking as this guy's going to be your defensive anchor he's going to be kind of like Rodri for man city you know he's going to be distributing the ball a lot resetting play it's just like your anchor you know and then your other one's going to be like a number eight like a bellingham type player with balanced defense and balanced attack we want balanced defense primarily because when he's tracking back when we lose the ball in the attack he's going to specifically mark a player at times because now he has the instruction to man mark because your other guy right here is always going to be in front of the defense, there's not really any point to having a man mark because then he's just going to be able to get dragged out of position. You want him on cut passing lanes to make sure he can block the striker on the other team pretty easily without having to go into completely unique positions that can be caused when, you know, maybe the other team has a cam that cam runs into weak or weird positions and then now your CDM is no longer there. We want it on this guy because this guy's going to be more moving around more, pressing around more and he's going to be checking it back from the attack as well. So... When he's striking back from the attack, he can mark a player on his way on the attack. So, yeah. Your fullbacks, both of them are going to be on stay back while attacking overlap. Primarily because the overlap instructs him to be out, be wide all the time, even in defense. So, there's always going to be a fullback here and there on both touchlines. So, you're not, you don't have to worry about them abandoning their field or their side of the field. And then your two center backs default. And then your goalkeeper, you can put on comes for crosses, sweeper keeper. Like I said earlier, this formation is insanely good for the amount of unique player movement that occurs. If you need a formation that needs a lot of unique AI player movement, this is your formation to use. Because of the fact that this formation literally has three cams, you're going to find yourself in the attack seeing a lot of unique runs being made. So I would highly recommend that you play with a lot of, um, just keep them, like what I'm trying to say is you want to play with the fact that every single attack is going to be different. So don't always attack, don't always counterattack the same exact way, don't look at the same exact players. Keep your eyes peeled for unique runs, things like that, because this formation is just going to create them chance after chance after chance. And you're going to notice that you can basically just walk the ball into the goal most of the time. I also can't stress the role of the CDM in this formation. Bruno Fernandes, even though he's not necessarily a CDM, I found him to be perfect because with that long ball trait, if you have PC wingers, which I do have Mbappe and Garincha, you can just send long balls over and over again. As I said earlier, this is probably one of the most meta, if not the most meta formation in FIFA right now. And honestly, it's only direct competitor. It's probably 4-3-2-1. And the only difference really that I notice is the 4-3-2-1 is a lot more aggressive than the attack. 
has a lot more direct runs and it's a lot less um it's a lot less it's a lot less more unique the three four or sorry in the four three two one you're gonna notice that your attacks are even though it's still very crucial and very strong they're still gonna be a lot pretty similar time after time again the four three two one generates a lot of through balls a lot of great counter attacks however this formation is just a lot better for the fact that you can be able to use it in so many different ways you can still get those through balls because those wide cams are still going to make through runs whenever they see the space but they're also going to still drop back be part of the midfield whenever necessary that's why i just love this formation because of the cam positions those positions across any formation are just filled with so much ai that it's basically like the team is playing for you especially with those winger positions and the cam position that's what makes this formation such a big deal it can make it difficult to play at times though because like i said you do need to keep your eyes peeled it can be pretty confusing because there can be too much movement for you to understand so i would highly advise that you take it if, if you're new to fifa you take this formation a little bit more slower easy try to pride yourself on noticing the passes before you actually make the pass try to keep your try to just notice everything you can on the field basically but if you can do that if you can make your passes precise then you'll have absolutely no issue playing this formation and i can honestly like i can confidently tell you this is probably the best formation that you can play if you need success on fifa this year if that being said, if you guys like this formation, if you found that it improved your gameplay this week in League or just in general, maybe on Division Rivals as well, as sweaty as that can get, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and comment if you have any questions. I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as I can. And without much more being said, 